I'm Steve Pinker, and I'm a Harvard College professor and John Stone family professor here at Harvard in the Department of Psychology. The cognitive revolution which took place at Harvard was the start of the modern scientific study of the mind. Because when you study something like the mind and you like to think that you're a scientist, you're faced with the immediate problem of what do we do with these things called mental contents, thoughts, emotions, images, plans, rules. You can't see them, you can't taste them, you can't feel them. Uh, if you're a scientist, you're supposed to be studying things that you can see, see and measure and manipulate. How do you even begin with a science of mind? Well, the answer that had dominated psychology in the middle part of the 20th century was to just give up all talk of uh, mental contents. This was the school of behaviorism, and it came to take over American psychology until the early 1950s when a number of scholars with ties to Harvard started to rethink that whole idea. When we talk about how computers work, you can't get around imputing internal states to them. Computers have memories, they have goal states, they execute plans, and if you could do that about a hunk of metal and you're not being unscientific, why should it be unscientific to say those things about a, a human being. The result was called cognitive science. It included both experimental psychology, people who study other humans in the lab, linguistics, including the famous theories of the linguist Noam Chomsky, who was here at Harvard as a, uh, in the Society of Fellows, uh, computer science and artificial intelligence, and, and later neuroscience.